If you're like me, you like to use the latest version of Unity and the latest versions of all your favorite Unity assets. And you probably need a new project at least once a week so that you can test out all of your ideas. Keeping up with the latest and greatest from Unity is one of the reasons I've avoided using project templates in the past. The other is that I always thought that maintaining a project template would be time consuming. But over the last two months, I've changed my opinion on this. So today I wanna to show you how I start new projects now, how to make a project template, and why I still use scripts in some cases. Let's get started. I have a ritual I perform every Thursday. I head over to the Unity Download Archive and I download the latest version of Unity 6. This week, that's Unity 6.1.1. Usually, this is the first thing I do as soon as I get home from work. Downloading and installing the latest version of Unity can take some time, sometimes up to 10 minutes. So I can let this process happen in the background while I'm doing other things. One other thing that I am going to do today is update my Unity Hub. I can see that the Restart Now button is available in the top left. That means a new version of the Hub has been installed in the background already. Now, maintaining your Unity Hub isn't really part of the process today. It just so happens that I need to do it. What's more critical is that you have your project template ready to use before you go and start a new project in this new version of Unity that you've just installed. That's because the Unity Hub keeps a cache of all the available project templates for a given version of Unity. So if you go to start a new project right now, it's going to cache the available project templates and your custom template isn't going to be one of them. If you're trying to access one of your custom templates after that cache is already built, either completely restart the Unity Hub or run the Hub Installer again. So I'm going to restart the Hub and we can go take a look at these Unity templates. So here I am in my File Explorer and I'm in my Unity 6.1.0 project template folder. Now you can see it's quite nested down in the folder structure. And here in this folder, I've got a TGZ file that contains everything I need for a project template. You can see the other normal templates that came with Unity 6.1, and then the fourth one is one that I made. Now I'm going to cut that template and I'm going to navigate all the way up to the editor folder and come into this new version of Unity. And I'm going to navigate all the way down through editor, data, resources, package manager, and into project templates. Here I'm going to paste in that template from the last version. And don't worry, we're going to cover creating a project template from scratch. But first, I'm going to show how easy it is to maintain a project template once you have it set up. For convenience, I always keep my latest project templates folder pinned over on my sidebar so that I can easily reference it next week when I install a new version of Unity. So now that I've migrated my existing project template, I can go back into the Unity Hub. Here I'm going to create a new project, and this is where it's going to build that cache of templates that's available to me. Now, I've called my custom template Malevolent, and let's give this project a new name. I'll call it Demo Template. I'm not going to connect to the cloud. I'm just going to hit Create Project. Now, this will take a few minutes to get up and running. You'll see the Unity splash screen. While this is happening, another thing I like to do is not keep too many different versions of Unity installed on my machine. So I'm going to come over to the Installs pane, and I'm just going to keep the latest two, just in case I need to roll back one version. Now let's come back to our project that's opening up. It should be just about ready. Now, everything I was using to start my project templates last week is still here. I have to sign into Hot Reload again, and then I'm going to make sure everything else is up to date. I have one NuGet package in my template, so I'm going to come up to the NuGet menu item. I'm going to select Manage NuGet Packages. In here, I'm going to go to Updates. And here I have Zlink. I can see there's an update for that. If the core Zlink package had an update, it's almost certain that the Unity package needs an update as well. So I can do that from the package manager. I just click update here. Then beyond that, I can just check for any other package updates in my project by going to the left side of the package manager and selecting updates. If there's anything that I want to keep up to date here, it's very easy to update all the packages that you want. And now this project is in a really good state for a new Unity 6.1.1 project. So this seems almost too good to be true, right? I was able to just move the project template folder, open a new project in about three minutes and update two assets. And I'm totally up to date. Actually, I can see Hot Reload is signaling that it has an update as well, even though it's not listed as having one in the package manager. But such is life when you're living on the edge. Let's click that and let that run as well. Hot Reload typically requires a server reset. It'll give a modal window in a second. There we go. Restart server and click through anything else that it wants. Once it's done, you'll see the change log. And over in the Run tab, you'll see that it's doing its work. 
Now, the other really big advantage beyond just the time savings here with the project template is that it was able to bring in a lot of my starter assets. So for example, if I open up my project folder and come down here into my scenes, I've already set up my sample scene to be exactly the way that I want. If I jump over into the scene tab, you'll see here that I've already got a little mini scene set up with everything that I need. I've got a folder here that has all my basic cameras and lights. And then I've got a player prefab in here that's already set up with Cinemachine and my character controller that's a constant work in progress. So at this point, I can just hit play and I'm instantly able to run around the game world. There's nothing in my scene per se, but I don't have to import anything special or do any kind of setup to already have reached this point. And if I don't want to use this kind of player, all I have to do is remove it from this scene and replace it with something else. Now, of course, you might want to set aside some other Unity packages that you just bring in for this or that, or you might want to have a whole separate template just for, say, 2D games or something like that, or maybe HDRP. For me, since I mostly work in URP and use a third person controller, this is perfect for 90% of what I do. So now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. We've got an open project that's got everything totally up to date the way that I like it. How do I take what I have in Unity right now and create a template for reuse the way that I was reusing it at the beginning of this video? Well, the first step is to take one of these existing templates that came with this version of Unity, and we're going to copy this compressed file. I've already made a folder over here that I've called packages. I'm going to paste that in here. We can just extract the contents of this file and go and have a look at what's inside. Inside here, we're going to find another folder that's just called package. This package folder contains everything you need for your template. At the root level, we've got some key files, but the ones that you're going to want to change out are assets, packages, and project settings from within this project data subfolder. I'm just going to delete all of these, and I'm going to come over to my demo template project that we just made. I'm going to grab all of those folders, copy, come back to this package folder, and paste these in as replacements. Now, within the project settings folder, there's one file that you have to delete. So if we navigate down into project settings and you come down here to the project version, just delete that and all good. You won't be able to open your template in Unity if that file exists. One other thing that you're probably going to want to change is up at the top level, we have the package.json file, which defines all the metadata about this template. You can use a custom name that follows the naming convention of com.unity.template, whatever name you want, a display name that'll show up in the hub, and a description that'll show up in the hub as well. Most of the other settings can be left as is, but you might find it useful to, for example, change the version number. Once you're happy with that, we want to take this package folder and compress it. For that, I'm going to use 7-zip because I want to turn this into a TGZ file. This is very important. If you have this installed, you can right-click the package, and from the context menu here, you can add that package to a new archive. For the archive name, use the same name that you put into your package.json file, but at the end, add .tgz. Then leave the default settings, click OK. This just takes a second and you'll have a compressed project template. Now I can cut this from here and I can go over to my pinned project templates and I can replace the one from before. This way it's ready for any other Unity 6.1.1 projects that I might want to do this week. And next week, when I want to make a template for the new version, all I have to do is go back to that package folder that we uncompressed, come down into the project data folder, get rid of those three folders again, and replace them with whatever I've updated in my current project, just like we did at the start of the video. So you might be wondering, does that make the project setup script that we made last year completely obsolete? Well, no. I'm going to import that local package that we built last year for this purpose. And once it's been imported, you'll see that at the bottom of my tools menu, we still have this setup section. And despite the fact that I might not use this for importing 20 or 25 different assets or setting up all my packages, it's still very useful for things like if I want to import everything that has to do with motion matching, for example, because that's not part of my template. Or maybe I want to import all my special post processing tools. I can still do a one-click setup that will install three or four different packages or tools for me automatically. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you haven't watched that yet. So that's how I've been handling project setups for the last few months, and so far I'm pretty happy with it. It's not 100% automated, but it really only takes about 10 minutes of effort, 
and the amount of time I save opening a new project easily pays for itself. Instead of doing a full project install, which could take up to 20 minutes, sometimes even longer, once the project template is set up, it only takes three minutes to open a new Unity project with all of these assets. And on top of that, I've got a basic scene set up with the controller and everything just ready to go. So there's nothing stopping me from immediately starting to test an idea out. I can be up and running, trying something new almost immediately. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget there's a new video every Sunday aimed at intermediate and advanced Unity devs. Join us on Discord. It's always very busy. Other than that, happy Sunday. I'll see you next week.